slide by Eddie Kane Jr.'s channel. Let me see. Eddie Kane Jr. Eddie Kane Jr. Eddie Kane Jr. Why that sounds familiar? Get over here. Um, Eddie Kane Jr., I'm letting you know right motherfucking ass. When I record my last, I go put it on no YouTube channel. No, I'm not playing. How y'all doing? You know who it is, your dude, Jay Prince, senior. Uh, Whack 100. Step into my office. And you already know my office hours are from nine to five. Um, you went pretty hard on Junior, you understand me? Now I know Junior definitely be selling wolf tickets, you understand me? I know Junior get into situations and then say he gonna tell his daddy, you understand me? Hey, that's what sons do, you understand me? And I know Junior look like Kermit the Frog with a beard, you know what I'm talking about? But, always a but, that's my Kermit the Frog. Only I can say that young man got a booty chin out here, you understand me? Can't nobody else do that. Whack 100, you're overstepping your bounds out here, G. You went in too tough on Jay Prince Jr. No diddy. And I don't appreciate that, you understand me? I mean, you had, we had a situation off and on over the years or whatnot. I don't know if you're mad at my success or what the issue is, but keep me and my son's name out your mouth, you understand me? And how can you even say a word about anything, my brother? You, I remember, I recall J-Rock, Nipsey Hussle bodyguard, came up on you, gave you one piece, no biscuit. You was in the dirt around all your guys. How does that happen? He came up there and gave you one piece spicy right to the speaker box and put you on your back pockets, you understand me? Blue face standing there laughing. You understand me? That just let you know how people feel about you, Mr. Whack 100. And you got these stories about my son. Hey, I'ma tell you a story myself. And this ain't even about you. It's about a person, let's just call him Jigga. Certain person came down here to H-Town figuring to make a play. But they didn't check in first, you understand me? So the play didn't go their way. Then on the back end, they want to come and meet with me. You understand me? I tell folks all the time, this situation does have an explanation, but you got to come and pay homage, you understand me? Now, I'm not the reason that his situation went left. I'm not saying that. But read between the lines, you understand me? And whack 100. You talk about my son, J. Prince Jr. because he signed Finesse two times. Hey, he might be con confessed two times, you understand me? But you managing 6'9", you understand me? I think he's the king of the snitches. Between him and Trench's news, I don't know who's worse, you understand me? Eh, I'm gonna lean Trench's news, but that's here nor there, you understand me? You, you dealing with 6'9", you understand me? And Mr. Wack, tell me, where does this happen at? The, the authorities are doing a raid on your home. You go into the den and produce some paperwork and they stop the raid. They apologize to you and leave. Now, was that um, your timesheet for the week, Mr. Officer Wack? Or was that your documentation, Mr. G14 classified, if you catch my drift? It's one or the other. I've never heard of a raid being stopped by a person just short, waving around a piece of paper, you understand me? Must have been some important words on that document. Yeah, yeah, so you tend to your own stuff. Don't worry about me and mine, you understand me? Cause uh, I can roam freely through California. But my brother, you creeping and crawling when you come through Texas. You're not making no big announcement. You're not going live. Cause you know, I got connection like Verizon. Can you hear me now? Good. Hey, this is just a public service announcement from your dude, 
J Prince Senior. <laughs> now, if you have any other problems with your royalties and my books, my office hours are from. My office hours are from. Nine. <laughs>